this is the dollar index and is currently the king on the block at the moment i remain completely bullish on the us dollar going into next week so now this is the weekly time frame and as we can see each candle represents one week of price action now we can see how we close for last week with this tiny little candlestick so that tells us that on the lower time frame price basically ranged throughout last week but regardless i am still bullish going into next week i still expect price to come into these highs around here now if we go to the daily time frame price is currently trapped in within these zones and if you remember last week i was like i'd like to see price pull back into this region before we rally back up into this 107.091 area so before now price is still ranging let's go to the lower time frame now on the lower time frame let me even go down to the one hour all right let me remove this trend line here and also remove this or let me leave this so on the one hour time frame i have this zone at the top here where price is finding difficult to break above and i also have this zone at the bottom here where price is struggling to actually break below i also have this trend line above and below so now within these zones price is actually um ranging so i'd like to see price either break out above or break out below now if price breaks out below that means i would like to see something like this i'd like to see price break out of this zone give this zone a retest before we make our way down to 105.496 so from this area i'll be expecting price to continue higher remember i am still completely bullish on the us dollar however if price fails to come for this pullback before the next rally then i'd like to see price take out this upper trend line and this zone above here this resistance above then break out close above it creating a new higher high come back for a retest before we catch an impulsive move to the upside which will bring us into these areas of 107.091 so but going into next week i am bullish on the us dollar now let's take look at some currency pairs starting with gbp usd now the gbp usd let's see how we close for last week on the weekly time frame so we can see that um price is still pointing down downwards last week i actually called your attention to the fact that i'll be expecting price to continue down into this lows here which will be a 400 pip move to the downside and so far price is still moving in our direction now check out what i said last week on this analysis price is actually targeting a much bigger zone which is way below here all right if i go back to the daily time frame um my zone my long-term zone is actually around here so welcome back guys so price is as you can see price is still playing out nicely now on the daily time frame i pointed out this zone which is around 1.23305 area as my next target and if price breaks below that zone and below this trend line then i'll be expecting to see price fall into this zone welcome back guys so as we can see price is almost at our target now if we go to the four hour time frame price is also pointing to that target so based on my last week's analysis price is still playing out nicely so there's nothing much to say on gbp usd so my next target on gbp usd remains 1.23305 and if we break below that zone then these areas around here which is 1.21076 is going to be my next target so gbp usd next week i am bearish now let's look at euro usd based on last week's analysis i wanted to see price come back into this area giving us a retest before we continue to the downside so price give us the retest we are beginning to see some rejection so going into next week i'd like to see price continue to fall to the downside like this all right so i'd like to see price continue to fall to the downside but what happens if we go into next week and price starts pushing higher well i will become bullish minded only when price breaks out of these two zones here which is 1.07399 and 1.07106 so uh, for me to now be bullish i would like to see price break and close above these zones that i just mentioned earlier come back for a retest before we now find momentum to push to the upside 
so until i see this happen i remain bearish all right but for me to become bullish then i'll have to see price break above here come back for a retest before go higher however my strategy doesn't even depend on any of this all right so uh, within these zones within whatever price does i can trade in that direction on the more on a much lower time frame of the 15 minutes time frame and 30 minutes time frame all right that was how i was able to catch these trades last week but this is what I'll be looking for going into next week. Let's go to the much lower time frame and um, monitor price action clearly. So now on this four hour time frame, in fact, there's nothing much to say on the four hour time frame. Let's go to the one hour time frame. So on the one hour time frame, there's also nothing much to say. Price is currently ranging. But what I'm trying to say in essence is that going into next week, I remain bearish. All right. So I'd like to see price continue lower to this downside here, which is going to give us how many people move to the downside. Let's see from here to here that will be around 180 people move to the downside so this is what i'd like to see play out next week now that is euro usd in a nutshell next on my list is euro jpy so guys if you've made it this far and you are yet to hit that subscribe button do so now please and if you're also yet to hit smash that like button also do so now now let's jump right back into the analysis so on euro jpy last week i was initially bearish i wouldn't even lie to you if i go to the much lower time frame you are going to see where i was bearish from so there was more like an obstacle that i placed below price to see if price breaks below that zone before i sell but price didn't break below that zone so if i was trading euro jpy and i was only looking for sales i wouldn't have lost any money when we go to the much lower time frame i'm going to show you what i'm talking about now we're on the weekly time frame and we can see how price closed last week with a strong bullish engulfing candle which signals strong bullish move and if price continues higher remember my next target is this highs around here which is around let me put a line there so that we can follow the actual value of that zone so i'm talking around one six eight points double three eight all right so if price continues higher that is my next target but let's go to the daily time frame and see things clearly now on the daily time frame there's this trend line that price is still respecting i mean i didn't even come to the daily time frame in last week's analysis that was why i was so sure that price was going to break below this green zone all right but uh when i after the analysis i now discovered oh there was a trend line below that price is currently respecting and price is creating higher highs higher lows higher highs higher lows now we are we're trading around higher highs around here although price is ranging but let's go to the four hour time frame and see where we now start taking actions all right so price on the four hour time frame is ranging between these zones now for me to become bullish price has to take out this 165.336 area all right price has to take out that zone and if that happens, we now have a new higher high, right? Around here. So, so I'd like to see a pullback into that 165.336 area. I'd like to see a pullback into there. Then we'll go for a 300 pip move into 168.338. It's all right now that's the bullish scenario now for bearish scenario it remains as last week i have this zone here mapped out around uh, let me put a line there for easier identification around 162.524 area so if price is committed to going pushing lower then i'd like to see price take out this zone here come back for a retest before we push to my next target which is 160.236 area so these are my buys and sell scenarios but within this zone based on my strategy if you are interested uh we still have some space left in our mentorship um program as a matter of fact our next uh mentorship is is kicking off on the 7th of may which is next month 2024 so take advantage and um register now all right so let's go back to the analysis so within this zone my strategy still allows us trade fine and that was how i was able to make money last week even though euro usd ranged all right but let's go back to the analysis so these are my buys and sell scenarios on euro jpy now next on my list is usd jpy so usd jpy is just like um 
euro jpy actually last week price was trading around here i would have loved to see a pullback into this zone which didn't happen even though i was completely bullish i actually wanted to see a pullback before the next rally to the upside however that didn't happen price just continued trading higher well i don't trade usd jpy bet based on my analysis i am still completely bullish on usd jpy however we could see a pullback next week or we could see price continue trading to the upside so to catch the buy or sell scenario in this case i'd like to go to the lower time frame let's go to the 30 minutes time frame so on the 30 minutes time frame if price is committed to going higher just draw a zone around here simple just box this zone in all right and wait for price to break out of it properly give it a retest properly before you catch a swing trade to the upside all right my next target on usd jpy if price continues bullish is going to be 160.000 area all right and if price is going to go for a deep pullback before the next rally which i really don't see happening then i'll just plot this trend line here and then i'll have a zone below here all right then i'd like to see price break below this green zone and below this trend line for price to continue falling to the downside at least if that happens then this area here which is 152.599 is going to be my bearish target before price decides to rally back up into new highs all right so that those are my buys and sell scenarios on usd jpy then the last on my list for this week is going to be gold now gold just like last week i still don't have any zones to trade from on gold all right i'd like to see a pullback happen before we now start looking for continuous bullish confirmations right this is tech this is technical analysis and we trade using zones right we want to buy from a zone or sell from a zone whether it demand or supply support or resistance whatever we are just looking to buy or sell from zones but right now on gold i can't look for, i can't actually see any zones i can actually call trades from until we see some nice wave play out so patience is required if you are not already in this gold trade from this lows here then patience is required for price to give you structural level to work with so until i see that happens i don't see anything interesting on gold at the moment rather than just say i'm completely bullish on gold all right so that will be all for this week once again if you are yet to smash that subscribe button do so now if you are yet to like our video do so now and also do well to share this video with like minds that may also be interested in these types of video and if you want to enroll in any of our mentorship programs um the door is open for you take advantage and um take your trading to the next level thanks for staying to the end of this video i wish you a successful trading week next week and i'll see you in the next video bye guys